Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the fourth episode of Hakume to Mikochi. Currently, I have a bit of a sore throat, so if I don't sound great, that would be the reason why. But I really don't want to fall any, any further behind on reactions than I already have because of various issues I've been running into, like with multiple copyright strikes on the channel and not being able to upload videos to that. So I have to upload them to this backup channel and eventually move them over there and just... It's a rough time, let's just, let's just say that. But yes, in the last episode, we had the their home explode. Sen re, uh, re, 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 renovated the place. And we had uh, Hakume, I believe it was, doing her 9-to-5 job as a breadwinner. And yeah, that's pretty much the episode, so let's get into the next one. Let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Visitor? <laughs> Not the most welcoming home, is it? Hey, that's Koenju, the singer. Songstress. Yeah. I'm busy in the lab. Don't ask questions. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't seen her for a while, so that's nice. <laughs> uh... I know, right? How welcoming can this place be? Yeah. Miko Chi's the housewife. Interesting place you got here. <laughs> Alright, room for one more? <laughs> yeah, that might be a bit too much. Yeah. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> Wish my job doesn't make a mess. Although being a reactor is a close second. Uh, then please explain it to me. As fresh as they get. <laughs> Uh, how come I think your wife's cheating on you while you're away? <laughs> but yes, I was hoping we'd get some more Cohen juice since we had some scent last episode. And yeah, my voice is not great right now, but... I figured I, I could at least handle doing a relaxing show like this. I don't know if we'll do all, f all four of the shows that come out today that I react to, but I'll at least do this one. Kind of a test run to see if I can. But yeah, it's been, a, it's been an interesting few days on my YouTube channel. I learned about the changes of the YouTube Partner Program, where I'm no longer qualified to be a YouTube Partner under the new guidelines. And then I hit a thousand subscribers, which would put me above that. Then I got a third copyright strike to take my channel down. And then I started to get sick, and yeah, just... You know, that's life for you, I guess. But at least I have anime, right? That's something. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> uh, how, not sure how that's irritating, but... She's a carpenter, I think? Working with a weasel? Oh, I guess she does different things. <laughs> they gotta make money somehow. That's quite the mental limit she has, has of them. <laughs> wow, she took her toll on her. Oh, wow. That does sound pretty good. 
Uh. <laughs> All right, watch those fingers. Uh, she's going just a little bit different than I, my initial impression of her. <laughs> uh. She also looks sick with a mask on. <laughs> uh. Yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> I got this, don't worry. As you should be. You can never have enough rum. <laughs> Don't tell me the house is going to explode again. Anything about that. <laughs> yeah, I thought to say, do we know what the... Do we have the same dictionary definition of low here? <laughs> uh... I wish I told her that ahead of time. Can you not mess this up, please? There's gotta be something you can handle. <laughs> uh, yes, you're quite the lady. <laughs> now do it a thousand more times, please and thank you. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, is that all? Okay. Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, the important parts. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> She's so lonely. Oh, she actually admitted it. <laughs> now let's quickly change the subject. You put it in a bowl and you put it in the microwave. Done. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought I was thinking that was tofu or something. <laughs> uh... Well, not everyone's like you. Uh. <laughs> uh. And she's really taking charge. So, Barry. <laughs> squeeze. Always finish it off with a squeeze. <laughs> we can see where her priorities lie. 
Very interesting shots they're doing. Uh, maybe, but the question is, is for the better or not? Uh, I prefer the camera to be, you know, on them as they're doing that, but oh well. Gotta see the animation budget somehow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's all we ask. Don't burn any places down. Yeah, and the mess <laughs> that she leaves you to clean up. Have fun. Yeah, why do the day we can put out till tomorrow? Ooh, <laughs> the soap's coming into handy already. <laughs> A key, I think. The key to Mikoji's heart. Or the key she lost, one of the two. And she has to walk all the way back for her key. Or get a hotel. Oh, even better soup? How, how far are we gonna go? what I call a slice of life. <laughs> I know, right? We're actually gonna see what she did. <laughs> uh, but please leave as soon as you wake up. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, she can come over to my place if she wants. I mean, I see that. I don't see the problem with that. Best neighbor right there. Yeah. I think it's safe to say I like Konji more now than ever before. But most importantly, pizza. I'd probably not find out. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> uh. Might be might be time to run. Or at least offer a sacrifice to appease him. Well, whatever you do, don't fall. Not quite the panic shot I was hoping for, but... Uh. I'm sure she's fine. This is a... Oh, wow, she does look hurt, though. Oh, man, I did not expect you to be that hurt. I'm gonna have to carry your back. At least Hakume is good in an emergency. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, Hakume, the camping expert.
<laughs> I bet. You have a warm home to come back to after all. To be fair, you're just tiny. Be careful. <sighs> but if I don't return, please take good care of my hat. And no, you can't use this firewood. Don't think I didn't know what that look meant. I've seen Konosuba. <laughs> You don't want to push things too much with that wild predator out there. Especially sure you're already carrying enough stuff to drop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling he would show up again. Can you please pick up the things I dropped? <laughs> I can take them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think she decided she couldn't. It's probably a very kush koi owl after all. <laughs> I know I had my weapon somewhere. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I wanted to eat you, I probably would have done so already. Maybe he just wants to play. Or wants you to share some of your food with him. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to come to an understanding. I was so scared. Hold me, Mikochi. <laughs> I bet. I'm sure she's just happy you came back alive. Barely. But now we don't have meat, that's a problem. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, because Mikochi usually does the cooking. <laughs> it's a good thing the owl does not care about vegetables. Well, I mean, yeah, didn't she say as much? A few minutes ago.
<laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty bad. That's messed up. Well, that's lucky. That's not a good sound. <laughs> this knife hasn't failed me yet. I mean, not really any condition to go anywhere. Oh, did he bring them something? And man, he looks so intimidated. I guess is that like a trade for the meat you gave him? Waiting for a nod. But I guess that's good enough. But I would have rather had the meat. <laughs> it may be hard to take it all back with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could use some meat. So that was the fourth episode of Hakameto Mikuchi. And this episode, first part was Mikuchi being at home by herself, all lonely, with Hakame gone doing work type stuff. And Konjo comes over, which makes her less lonely, so they play together. And Konjo, apparently not great at cooking, cannot understand the complex concept that is low heat. And luckily the place didn't burn down, and she also didn't seem to appreciate the bones, you know, exterior of the place, but... You know, I think it adds a nice, homely touch to it. What she is good at is making soap, I guess, because she considered the soap Mikochi made to be unacceptable, and decided to show her how it's really done. Apparently her grandma taught her and did not teach her about cooking because, you know, priorities. Second half was more about Mikochi and Hakame together. And, oh, they, they did take a bath with a new soap, I should probably mention that. And Konjo forgot her key at their, at their place, so she couldn't get into her place. So, as opposed to going to a hotel or something, she decided to crash at a neighbor's place, completely naked, in her bed. Which I wouldn't mind having a cute female neighbor show up at my place and want to sleep in my bed naked. I'd, I'd be okay with that, probably. Especially if it was Konja. But yeah, second part, they were gathering food, and they had to run in with an owl. The owl wanted some of the food, specifically the, the dried meat. And he took it. But he, you know, he wasn't all bad. He decided to come back and give them some vegetables and stuff. Stuff he doesn't particularly care for, but... You know, those little creatures might enjoy. I still don't think it's a great trade, because I'd prefer the meat, personally, but at least I got something out of it. And, you know, they just had some, you know, a nice moment together in the cave, alone together. Mikochi got to eat some of Hakame's food, which is not a common thing. Usually Mikochi is the one that prepares the food. Which is probably for the best, really. But yeah, if this reaction was lacking at all, it 
you know, just I'm really not feeling that great, but I just don't really want to get behind on reactions any more than I already am. So in any case, I look forward to the next episode. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.